Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. It's your girl True To Me and I am here to sit down and parlay with you ladies and let's go ahead and talk it out today. Okay, so first and foremost, let me go ahead and just look at my fit today. She's looking super cute. Hello. Okay, I got the jeans with the bare shirt and the wig is on fleek. Got the Yeezy dupes and let's go ahead and get into it. Now, I know this is a different scenery, but y'all already know I came here to do this show. Because whether y'all like this or not, y'all need to hear this. And we're going to talk about what's going on in this world. And that's on Periana, so... Um, oh yeah, by the way, shouts out to True Essentials. Thank y'all for coming through helping me again. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, let's get this angle and stuff right. Cause I want to make sure that y'all can really like see me, see me. Let's see how this is going to go right here. This looks like a good angle. I like this angle right here. I'm going to like back, I'm going to back up from the camera a little bit. Cause I feel like I'm like in your face. Ooh. <laughs> You know you a pretty girl when you can make ugly faces and don't feel two seconds about them. <laughs> if you don't know how to laugh at yourself, I don't want to be your friend. If you don't know how to laugh at yourself, you cannot be my friend. Do you understand me? Period. So, first of all, how are y'all doing today? Okay, on this video, I'm actually going to be talking about... What was I saying I was going to talk about this week? Because I wanted to be transparent with this being like my real first YouTube channel. Linking from my Instagram. Because I'm about to post a clip of this on Instagram so people can actually come and watch the YouTube show. Like, watch the show. Come subscribe. Because not only on this channel do I do my sunday shows where i come and spit some gems i actually do like a daily vlog of my life now what am i doing with myself and where am i going girl i got so much stuff going on but we are going to put it in line and we're going to get it together okay so first and foremost let's go ahead and talk about the look okay so i actually have on a very cute outfit which i know y'all saw at the beginning of the whole little um tape another show before the video even started like i have my blush mark um bare shirt on i got my um dupe jeezy slides they are the tan colors i got my cute little jeans i actually got these from the mall and you know i got this wig from amazon i got it from miss miss v miss it's like m-i-s-i-v-i-n or some shit like that and um i'm gonna keep it real i didn't really want to review this one but i actually did record myself doing the week i got i did a good get ready with me and um, you all can go see how I feel about the wig on there. But even though I made it look good and she came together, best believe I probably will not be buying from them again. I'm, I'm not dealing with them because there's a certain type of look that I need for my 613. But this is a 20 inch 613 lace frontal wig. It is a 13 by four inch, okay? All right, um, I don't have my nails done right now. I actually want to take a break from the nails, get my bed some chance to get some strength, get my strength back in my nail beds, and then I'll go back to putting on all kind of different nails. And my daughter, Empress, she does my nails now because I actually bought the kit for me, and she ended up taking it over and learning how to do that. So I got these lashes, too, from Amazon. The makeup, I did it myself. I probably do a, um, you know makeup tutorial, eyebrow tutorial, all that fun stuff. Now, I don't talk about my brows. I know they're super black and I know they're hella dark, but listen, I could not find my chocolate brown eyeliner, not eyeliner, but pencil liner I like to use to do my brows with because it's like a creamy, it's a creamy pencil. Because I got teenagers, so they be always in my shit and I can't never find nothing when it's time for me to find something. So, long story short, I don't know where it was at. So, I got a little package. Y'all know Ipsy, right? I got a subscription with Ipsy and Ipsy sent me some like cute little knickknack makeup stuff for the month. And um, I went on ahead and used that to do my brows because I wasn't gonna come on camera without my brows done. I don't care what nobody talking about, period. So we gonna get to that later. Do y'all already know the It Girl Cup? This is the It Girl Cup. I also got this off of Amazon. <laughs> so it's an It Girl season. It's just It Girl vibes for me. Just 
it's it girl all the way around. And if you're not an it girl, then I don't know what to tell you. This probably is not the channel for you. Cause you gotta be an it girl to be on this channel with me. Are you an it girl? Do you know how to be an it girl? Do you love being an it girl? When well, you'll be sit down, sit down, sit down. We're gonna enjoy ourselves on this channel right here, y'all. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be traveling. We're going to do all kind of stuff. But let me go ahead and get to the basis of this show. I really just want to encourage my beautiful black women here on this channel, through this channel. I want to encourage every beautiful black mother. If you actually black, yes, blacks first. But I really want to encourage women, period. I don't want to sound biased. I don't want to sound racist. I don't want to sound one-sided. I do want to sound worldwide, very round rounded you know well rounded there we go <laughs> with my approach on my channel but i am being realistic i do love seeing other black women get on their feet and get their stuff together because i too am a survivor of domestic violence and this channel is really based on mothers getting their shit together okay i have finally finally gotten all my ducks in a row to the point to where like I can speak on what I'm talking about and I know what I'm talking about and it's going to work because guess what I've done it too many times before I've bumped my head so many times in this subject or in this type of lifestyle that I would I refuse to let myself go down like I don't know what to do or I don't know the signs when I see them so you know it girl magic so it's like yeah, so if, you were, if you're in a domestic violence situation, sit your ass right here, don't move. If you are just coming out of a domestic violence situation, sit your butt down right there, get you some pretzels and some wine, sit down, chill, okay? Or whatever snack you like, just sit down and park it like the popos, okay? So if you are a domestic violence survivor, sit down. If you are just getting out of one, sit down, take a seat, chill. If you are a single mother, I want you to sit down and chill with me. And then also, if you're going through postpartum, I need you to sit and chill. Get the baby, suck it on your titty, whatever you're doing, get a bottle. Get the kid, sit down. Okay. Because <laughs> we about to talk about this. This week right here tested me. I got tested so much this week because you know what? I always talked about being somebody. I always wanted to reach back and help others and really like shed my light on what's going on. But to be honest, y'all, like, did I really know how to do it? No. And do I really believe in myself? I had to I question myself plenty of times doing this. Like when I first started posting on Instagram, I really wasn't getting a lot of feedback. And I had to figure out my algorithm. Like, what is my audience target? Like, I know it's moms. I know it's women. I know that. But I want to talk about cooking. I want to talk about makeup. I want to talk about clothes, shoes. I want to talk about hair, nails, all of that. Because we need all of that to stay afloat in order to be the best woman we can be. I don't care what color you are, what nationality you are. When it comes to women, I want my women to all come together better, take care of ourselves better, love ourselves better, and let's just start doing better. Because I feel like if the men see us doing better, they're not going to have a choice but to step and step up and do better. And I'm not talking about like, like um, finding you a sugar daddy or something. No, he doesn't count. You know, like, I mean, he does count. Let me stop. Because you can turn a sugar daddy into a better situation if you know how to get in and get out. Use him to invest, invest in your dreams, invest into a business, make him a partner, partial partner, or even a, uh, you know, soul, not a sole partner, but what's the people like when you have a big corporation and everybody gets like a cut of the, give him that position because you don't want to do him dirty because without his money you wouldn't have got where you was going so and then we want to keep the blessings going so do the right thing bless his ass if that's what he did but at the same time let's not stay there because you don't never fall in love with your trick let's go ahead and keep that first and foremost don't ever fall in love with your trick please and thank you so because i'm talking to my hoes too i'm talking to my ex-strippers strippers now but at the same time i was able to get out of that life and really make a good living for myself i let the limelight go years ago and i got into the corporate world and now i actually make good honest money um just as just as about as much as i was making in the clubs i am almost matching it and this is on a daily to weekly basis i'm matching this money that i was making in the club 
So I think I did great. Late 20s, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I'm in my late 20s. And it's like I knew it was time for me to give it up. And that was cool because I got kids. I had stuff going on. That's fine. But coming from the hardship of the life that I had, I just had to do what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? And that was one thing I knew going along my way. I kept getting into domestic violence situations. I kept picking the wrong men. I wasn't taking care of myself. I wasn't thinking about my children appropriately. And things were just going crazy. It was just going crazy, y'all, like crazy. Like I wasn't believing in myself. I wasn't listening to myself. I wasn't moving on what I know needs to be done. I did not know I was this intelligent or this important until I got away from those negative people. And you want to know where the negativity really started? It started at home. It started at home with my upbringing between my mom, my sister, and my dad, okay? And me being raised around them put me in a position where mentally I thought I was slow, dumb, ugly, and fat. I don't know where I got that from because I'm thick now, but I was skinny, cute little pee with a fat booty when I was younger so but i didn't know that you know what i'm saying nobody consistently fed me inspiration every day so i'm here to tell you ladies if you got kids please make sure at least once or twice out the week you are commending your kids for doing something positive don't always talk about the negative all the time and don't always come at their head about everything they're doing wrong. Show them how smart they are, how beautiful they are, how handsome they are, how terrific they are at the small things that they do all the way up to the big things that they do. Because you raising your kids like that, they will always love and remember you and they'll take care of your ass when you get old. Because that's the key. I don't want them to stay. I want them to leave and make their own life. But when mama get to that age where I barely can walk around, they best to be here. I wish a sucker would. So, but the only way you do that is you, if you build the right relationship with your child. And see, me and my mom, we're not going to talk. This is not the show for me and my mom's conversation, okay? Because I have to, I, this is like, I'm in therapy right now. And this is like my second or third therapist I've been through because my story is so tough to hear. I would end up getting dropped out of the therapy because people say, I can't handle your case. I'm sorry. You're going to have to find somebody else. I don't think you guys know how heart-wrenching that is for someone to tell me to my face they can't handle my case. Okay? And unfortunately, my children fell victim of this same lifestyle of being treated wrong and it's just not right but i am in a place today that i wish somebody would okay i am so in love with myself and my children and i wish somebody would come across me and try to hurt me or them ever again in life i just really really hope that you are not within reach of my pistol because you would okay but anyway so because I'm not trying to put that out there in the universe. I'm big on words. But I do got some people out there that don't want to see me shine. And I'm not I'm not going to walk around here in the clouds like I don't know you people exist. And I know you want to attack my children. So guess what? Do not come over here, chicken butts. Okay? Okay. All right, cool. Once we got that understood, we're good. Okay. But, um, yeah. So... I'm really at this point now where being beautiful is my number one priority. Praying with my children almost every day is one of my priorities. I remember when I came to them with the idea because my newest, um, the newest relationship that I got in or, or influence, the person that's influencing me now, I'll say that. Uh, really made a great suggestion for me and my daughters to do that, which I've always believed in the Lord. You can ask people from my past that really, really know me. I would do the most dirtiest stuff in the world that you could think of. And I would go home and whip out my Bible. And people would be like, girl, what's wrong with you? You crazy. Like, why are you reading that? And you just did X, Y, Z. Because I know I'm a sinner. And I know I can't do this without God. And I know I can't do this without the Lord Jesus. So guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to take this word, go in my room, read my Bible and mind my business. Because I know I need them on this road where I'm going. How else am I going to get there? And like, that's where people couldn't understand. But the same people that talked about me in the projects down there on the deep south side of Georgia saw me do weird things that they thought was like out of this world or out of nature. Look at me now, bitch. <laughs> 
I'm famous and your ass is still probably fucking down there doing shit. <laughs> like, still going to the liquor houses, still fucking them same dirty ass niggas, ain't taking care of your kids, you ain't educating, you ain't going nowhere. And I got the hell away from y'all and I'm so happy for me. Aren't you happy for me? I am so happy for me. I don't care if I got to fake that shit till I actually make it. I am so happy for me. Like, for real though. <laughs> and, and, and it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Because I'm going to forcefully put it in the universe until it does happen. Okay? Because that's what you do when you manifest. Don't play with it. Chocolate wine. Get you some. So I had a sweet tooth. But I wanted to get a little tipsy. So chocolate wine. They sell it in the stores. But bow shit. And just keep you some gum because you know it's made with milk. So your breath won't probably stink a little bit like a little thump thump. But um, my breath don't stink. It don't ever stink. I have one. I have the best smelling breath in the world because I use natural. Natural. I use natural mouth cleansing and mouth um, health. Mouth health routine. Like my mouth health routine is superb. And these are my teeth. Okay, and I'm not getting rid of them. I'm not getting rid of them. They too pretty. They pretty. They straight. They already small. They are right. They are already white. I don't. I don't. I, I might got the gap, but I like my gap because that's what made me look different. And then it's not a bad gap because I make it look so fucking good. Bitch is gonna be walking around here trying to put a gap in between their teeth. Why would I tell you? Why would I tell you? People gonna wish they had the gap. They gonna be like, damn, she gorgeous, and she got a gap. Both ways. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> I mess around and get in trouble on this guy. I mess around and get in trouble. Y'all better stop me. You better be true. Sit down. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. I promise I'm gonna be good. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> and I'm going to try my very best to give you the best side of me. But on a serious note, though. That's really what this um, channel is all for. It's all positivity over here. It's all about loving yourself, loving your body, loving the transformation that you're going through. Um, I just had a son. He's like 13 months right now. And I do got a little baby fat on me, you know. But I like it. It's not that bad. The only thing I don't like is this area. So we are actively working on this area. And over time, y'all will see, see me slim down. Y'all will see me slim down. And I'll start looking even better on camera. But for right now, I kind of like my little thicky thicky. And then it's natural thicky. It's not, this came from having kids thicky. And eating good. I just, I don't know. I woke up like this. So, <laughs> I said, y'all gonna trip out with me on this channel. Y'all gonna have a good time. But, so, shout out to me for creating this channel. Shout out to all my it girls for tuning in and loving this channel. Shout out to all my haters for chiming in and watching me grow and glow. Your views matter too. Okay, because the more you hate me, the more you watch me, the more I get paid. So bring your ass on. It's all good with me. Okay, but for real though, so like this week right here, y'all, I finally came to my senses and was like, you know what? I'm going to do a do justice to this channel and I'm going to give these people my authentic self. If I'm mad, if I'm sad, if I'm going through something, if the kids are pissing me off that week, if I got baby mama drama, baby daddy drama, whatever. I'm coming here every week dropping a one-on-one -on -one show just for y'all. In between, like, my get readies and my going outs and my point of views and my, you know, a day in my life stuff. Like, besides, excuse me, besides that, Y'all gonna get this every week because y'all need it. And every time something hits me and I think it's important, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come on here and I'm gonna give y'all a shot and I'm gonna tell y'all how I feel. So right now we just recording on phones, you know what I'm saying? We doing we doing like the amateur shit. I got cameras, but I need a I need an iPad, y'all. Like I want the iPad so like I can hook it up and see myself here while the camera is playing. 
and then I can like, I can feel better because I can have a camera standing up here with the cord link to the iPad down there and the iPad sit on the stand and I can see myself. Even though I'm be looking in the camera, I can still kind of glance down and see myself knowing I still look good on camera. And then that'll give it more of the square shot than the long shot. So I'll see how this looks when I record, after I record this and edit it. But for right now, this is what we zooming. So respect the hustle. I'm coming from the ground up. This ain't no, I'm coming from the muscle for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's what I wanted to do, period. So y'all gonna see the journey. Cause y'all, if y'all read the uh, the description underneath my name and stuff, oh my, uh, underneath my name and stuff on my YouTube. Um, I came from radio first. I'm the, I'm the pretty girl for Block Party Friday. So I came from radio. From radio, I went from there, and then I tried to get into nails. From nails, I went to school to do music, be a producer. Like, I know how to make beats and stuff. Just a little bit. I'm just, I'm fresh out the gate. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Beside me doing music in the radio, I'm now showing people how my life is blowing up. Episode for episode. I want y'all to see me grow. You know what I'm saying? The hard days I had with my baby after I had him. The tough days I had in my relationship with the dude, the man I'm with. So it's just, it's a, it's a lot, but it's worth it. Because at the end of a crazy, you know, whirlwind of a week, I'm going to sit my butt down on Sundays. And we're going to pray about it. And we're going to get it right. And we're going to keep getting it right. Until we get it right. And the right person going to see this at the right time. It's going to hit them. They're going to be like, you know what? I like her. And I'm going to pull her email and email her. Because guess what? I want to work with her. Not only one person needs to hear this. She needs to be worldwide. People need to hear this girl. Because this girl going places. Okay. I had I have sponsorship and stuff going on right now. So it's like, me go down where... Me not accomplish my goals? Who's not going to do that? Hmm. So. But I hope y'all enjoy, which I know y'all probably, I don't know what y'all thinking. I'm not a mind reader. I'm not a psyche. I have got to stop doing it. But I know y'all enjoyed this. I know y'all enjoy sitting down, chilling with me. And I'm going to try to put all the description stuff in the thing below so y'all can have it. And y'all make sure y'all keep chiming in. Just follow my channel. Follow this journey where we're going because this just ain't hair. This just ain't makeup. I might even have like teenager tips. You feel me? Sometimes I might do one-on-ones like this. Other times I might get on the podcast with the kids and be like, I'm finna have a mom podcast kids, kids day. And then me and the kids get together and do podcast mode. And we just start talking about all kind of stuff. And y'all will see that too. So either I'm going to run it up from a different channel or we're going to run it up right here. Either way, it's going to get done because y'all need to see it. And I want people to not only hear my story. I want y'all to hear what my kids got to say too. I'm kind of scared though because one of them writing a book. I'm supposed to be proofreading to make sure it's ready to be published. But I'm scared. I'm scared for her. And I'm not even scared. I take that back. The devil is a lie. I'm not scared. I'm highly nervous. But it's a good nervous. Depend on what she say. I obviously would edit it if it's too much. But to save my baby, to save my baby face, because what she's journaling might just be a personal diary and she thinking it's supposed to be published. And what we can do is take some things out of there and turn it into a teaching book for teenagers. Yeah, that sounds cool. I'm going to do that. And I got to brace myself because I'm in therapy and I'm going to have to be in therapy and vomiting all this stuff out and then get around my kids like I got it all together. Knowing I'm like this close to like, <laughs> like the whole nine. But it girls don't do that. Boss moms don't do that. Even though we strong, even though we're strong, I'm not a man. So don't expect for me to carry and do everything. Because I might be in a, I might be in a, a um, uh, energy of transitioning from being so strong to being more feminine that means that strong shit finna drop off like I don't want to do it you do it I don't know what you do it like God, you know I can't do nothing without you I love you please like that's my energy right now so 
<laughs> well, I know I'm gonna see y'all again. I'm not even worried about that. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned to my channel and go get y'all some chocolate wine and go look at some on um, Netflix and stuff. Y'all heard that um Ghost the Power um series is back on the one about the children. The one with Tyreek and all the kids in the college and all that stuff with Mary J. Blige on there. Y'all need to go watch that. Real talk. I might come on here and talk about it. We'll see. Because that's my jam. I love that. And I love another one called Manifest. Mmm. That show no, it was good. Manifest. And um, what's another one I like to watch on? I think that's it right now because I'm not really a movie watcher. I got movie played out when I was younger. Like, I want to make a movie. I want to be star in a movie. I don't want to just, because I can talk like this, but I can switch it up and talk like a white girl quick, too. That's how I got my, that's how I get my jobs. Because y'all already know I got, a, I got the whitest girl, I got the whitest girl name anyway. So, getting, put my name on application, get it, it's not hard for me. As soon as people see it, they be like, ooh, okay, hey, how you doing? And then here go my, boo, you know, my, my little boo, how you say that? How y'all say it? How you say it? Boo, boo, not you? And no, it's not the wine. I, I've had a speech impediment since I've been a kid. But when I got older, okay, I actually learned how to mimic and talk better, but I still get hung up sometimes. I'm not going to lie. I would sit there and try my best to say certain words, and it's like my mouth is runs faster than how my mind is saying it, so it comes out. Blue want chewing. <laughs> I still mess it up. I still mess it up. Okay. I need a second phone because at this point I just need to Google it. <laughs> Cause somebody help me say how do how do y'all say that damn word? I know I'm saying I know I got it close, but basically my fine ass come in the building <laughs> and they be looking at me like, oh, you're such and such. Yeah, that's me. And then my charm, my intelligence, my drive, and I have a different type of spirit because I was born and raised on the West Coast. I'm from California, so when people like see me and they hear me and they sit around me for a while they be like dang she like she got flavor but she's definitely not from the south not at all but i've been down here in the south for a while so the intellect isn't as california as it needs to sound but the california will come out i just always been a country bunkin because my parents were from the country so growing up listening to them talk they talked country even though we was in cali and that country is still in me, regardless. It was it was born in me, even though I was born and raised in Cali, but I'm from Georgia. So what you wanna do about it? Speaking about that, I really wanna take a trip and go home. I just keep running my mouth. I thought I thought I closed this channel out like two times ago. <laughs> this thing run up to 30 minutes, y'all. Let me go. All right, bye. <laughs> Listen to this track. I'm a slow, 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 slow,